What's up, YouTube? My name is Gene, bringing you guys part 8 for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, check me out on Twitch at Gene25, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my live streams. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually made our way back down to Tarambo Shores, where we found Marin just sitting here. And now we have to take Marin back to the walrus who is sleeping to open up the path in order to continue on with the main quest. But before we actually start heading over there, if you actually come all the way over here, say yeet with your shovel. Can I get it? Yes, sir. Right here, we get ourselves another secret seashell, which is just dandy. We're actually racking these things up. The more you get, the more you can actually keep moving along with the... This seashell mansion little thing get more prize and everything but now we can use our little pegasus boots look at this yeet we got this punk monkey right here get out of here monkey <laughs> throwing all these like nuts at us and everything but we're just gonna keep moving along start making our way back to animal village so we have to actually go towards a uh, checkpoint area so we're actually just gonna head over towards this way say yeet to these little spiky boys but if you actually come down this tree right here run into it with your pegasus boots bang Another secret seashell, which is just dandy for us. We're just gonna be racking them up here Grabbing a couple of these getting a few heart containers and moving on with the main mission in this episode Let's go what you want Octorok? What you want fool? Yee, get out of here. Let's go man. We're up here. Let's go sugar <laughs> This is Link's little sugar mama right here. Come on. Let's go Marin. What are you being so slow for? Let's go stupid Octorok. What you want fool? What you want? What you want? Dude, guys, we are going off on this game. This game has been phenomenal so far. Every episode I made, I've been enjoying playing it and everything. It's just been so much fun. Hey, Bow Wow. You guys remember when we saved him? <laughs> but now we're actually... What? Yo, this punk fox hit us. Yo, leave me alone. Get out of here. Let's go, man. We're heading back this way. So now we are back at... What is this? This is Mabe Village, the main village. We're just going to make our way through this little path right here. Take a little shortcut over to the... Uh, what is it? The fast travel station right over here. And now we can make our way back to Animal Village by fast traveling it. Because in the last episode, we actually unlocked the fast travel point right down here. Let's get going to it. Let's get it, baby. So now that we have Marin, she can actually sing and wake up the walrus. Because that's the only way the walrus can be awakened is with Marin's voice. Because he even said that and all that. But we got these Pegasus boots, which help us out a ton. Look how fast we can travel with them. Just yeeting everywhere. <laughs> And look at this, we got these little apples in a tree right here. If you actually use your Pegasus boots, you can knock these apples down and get them. I believe they go into your inventory, I think, but you can use them to, like, recover hearts and all that. Let me see. Oh, he just eats them straight. Where'd that apple go? Oh, no, he just eats them straight off the thing in order to regain hearts. So if you're ever down on hearts, you can just do that. But now we can make our way to the walrus right here. Mara says, says, yes, it's that lazy walrus. Shall we give him a little surprise? Heck yeah, we should. So Mara steps back. She gives him ye old tune. Let's go, Marin. Marin starts singing. The walrus finally wakes up from his long slumber. And he starts bouncing on his stomach. Like, look at this fool. He cracks me up. <laughs> and after all that, he just jumps back into the water and opens up our path. Ah, wow. He certainly woke up with a start. And then this bunny comes around. Huh? Oh, he's calling me. It's the same as always. Ha ha. Link, I'm going to the animal village. Please drop by, okay? So, okay, we'll be back, man. We got things to do. We just opened up this path. We're gonna go make our way into Yarna Desert right here and do what we gotta do. So now that we make our way into this desert, we got all these new enemies. These actually look like the Pokies from uh, Mario, like in the desert area. You guys know what I'm talking about. The little Pokies are cool. They're in the desert area for like the Super Mario Brother games. So yeah, I like how they added like a bunch of like Mario character or enemies in here. But we also got these new enemies just chilling here. They look like little, like, I don't even know what they look like, <laughs> but they're a little weird. <laughs> but they're cool, they're cool, but we can actually destroy all these enemies and start making our way up towards this way, because if we make our way all the way over here, I mean, actually, I can use my Pegasus, boots. what am I doing? If we make our way all the way over here, we can pick up this rock right here and bang, another secret seashell for the collection. That's a little tongue twister, secret seashell. I feel like I'm always messing up saying that. <laughs> but there we go, the Pegasus boots come in handy so much. Just look at them. You just start speeding through everything. Bang, bang. But now we can make our way down here towards this cactus area right here. Bring out your shovel. Bang, another secret seashell. We're just racking them up. I told you guys we'd be getting a couple of them right here. But actually, if we make our way towards this little area right here, we get this little, like, stoppage right here. Annoyance. You are only getting in the way. And then this 
monster actually lives inside this little sand pit. So if we actually walk around the sand pit, we can start swinging our sword and beating him up and all that. But try to stay out of the middle. Like, keep walking around the outside and all that. Because he, you will fall inside that middle part. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here. So he's just going to pop up every here and there. You just smack him in the face a couple times. Every time he pops up. And then eventually he will be dead. What you want? No! We fell in! <laughs> we fell in! No! <laughs> oh my god. Now we have to make our way all the way back out. Which is just annoying. But it's not, it's not the biggest. Literally just right here. <laughs> but I don't know if his health like, restarts. I don't know if he gains full hearts back or not. I'm not too sure. I think he does because his whole cutscene resets. Dang it, man. Wasting our time right here. <laughs> but we are back doing this once again. What's this fool want? I charge up a spin attack. <laughs> what you want? Oh, I was going to say, if I fell back in there, I'd be so mad. But we're actually going to need some apples. Look at our hearts. I actually want to make our way back to that, uh, the lady that gave us that medicine the one time. So when we die, we can always just have it on hand. So I think we should maybe do that later. But what you want, little fool? I'm not going to walk towards the middle. I'm going to come over here and give him a quick smack. What you want, fool? What you want? When's this fool dying? Let me charge up spin attack right here. Come here. Yeet. Get out of here. Get out of here, boy. I think he should be on my set. We're going to charge up another spin attack. See if we can finish him off with this one. Come here. Yeet. There we go. I knew he was on my set. Let's go. We actually finished him off. He starts blowing up and everything and drops. Oh, no. I fell in the hole. But we're just going to head down there anyway to go grab it. Because there's one other thing we can do. And he drops the... Ba -ba -da -ba. You got the angler key. This is the angler key. It is for the next dungeon right here. Ooh, what you want? What you want? So now we can actually bring out our bombs right here. Because as you can see, there's a bombable wall right here. Let me switch back up to the shovel. We're going to need this bad boy. Shovel's, shovel's too clutch, ladies and gentlemen. But once we blow up that wall, we can actually walk in here and grab ourselves this piece of heart right here. Let's go. It actually came up big because that will refill our hearts, which is nice. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful. But now we can actually start... What you... Why are these guys being mean to me right now? <laughs> but now we can actually start making our way out the desert. But I think there's one more thing we actually want to do. What's up? What you want? Can we actually head up this way? Yeah, we can actually make our way this way. If you actually walk through this little area right here. Or just walk around. You can walk back up here. And come all the way over here. And guess what's over here, guys? You had to guess. Actually, wait a minute. Is there one over here? I don't think there's a seashell over here. Never mind. I lied. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a seashell up here. No, there's not. We already got the seashells in here. But now that we make it out of the Yarn of the Desert, our boy Hoot Hoot the Owl over here. I don't even know his name. What's his name? Let me figure this out. It's just Owl. <laughs> Hoot, the shape of that key shows a fish swimming up a cascade of water. Go on now to the mountain waterfall. A leap from the top and you will reach your goal. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl gives us a hint of how to get to the next dungeon and all that and how to get inside of it. But now we can actually make our way all the way over here. Start running back up this way because there's something over here. We got Marin over here actually want us to come back over here to the animal village. So we're going to do that now and talk to her. Hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany me as I sing? Yeah, go ahead, Marin. We'll accompany, we'll accompany you. Let's go. I like how there's like all the animals around. We got the bunnies, little bears, like a toucan looking thing. Look at our boy. Yeah, Link. You Link can jam out on that thing. You can just jam out on that ocarina. Get it. Yeah, we're actually going to learn a song here, which will come in handy for, like, other uses throughout this game now. Which is just dandy. Just dandy. The rabbits and the toucans and the bears, they love it. They love it. We're actually going to be using this song right after this to grab something. You guys might know what it is. <laughs> well, there we go. So, how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? Heck yeah, it does. Look at that. Bang, we do, like, a little dance, whatever. You learned the Ballad of the Windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. So now we have learned this song. We can always use it whenever we want. Please don't forget this song. Or me. Marin! What's Marin's problem? She's digging on Link, yo. <laughs> but now we can actually make our way back over here. Because I told you we want to do something with this song. If you actually pull out your ocarina and pick the Marin song. You can actually use it right where the wall was jumped in the water. And since he loves Marin so much, he's going to pop back out here. Look at him. Our boy! <laughs> Orf, 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 Marin, Marin, <laughs> Link. And then he pops back down. He's like, what is this? And hucks us a nice secret seashell. Yes, let's go. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. So now what we want to do after we got that key and all that, we actually want to start making our way up to where the next dungeon will be. So in order to go to there, we actually want to start making our way back to this little fast travel point right over here. 
and start heading towards what's the area called again? It's all the way up top. Let me let me go check. Let me go check. It's right near the Kapanga Swamp. It's right now. Wait. Do we want to head here? No, we're actually going to head to the Seashell Mansion first. Let's do this first. I was going to head over to the other area first, but let's head to the Seashell Mansion first and collect a reward. Because I believe we have enough to actually uh, get the next reward. I think it's 15 you need? How many do we have in total? We should have like 16. We have 18. Actually, wow. <laughs> we actually have 18 right here. Get out of here, pigs. What you want? Get out of here, fool. And now we can head inside the Seashell Mansion. Hopefully, this bar loads up. I believe it's 15 for the next one. We just stand on this little pillar and let... The little goo thing do its work. Look at it. <laughs> the rewards are actually very good for all the seashells, which is just nice, especially the top reward. But there we go. It's Christmas time, baby. It's Christmas. We can open this up and look what we get, ladies and gentlemen. We get... You got the seashell sensor. After obtaining the seashell sensor, we can actually walk around with it equipped. I'll show it to you guys in our little inventory real quick. As you can see, there's a little check mark next to it. You can toggle it on and off as you please. And so when there, there is a secret seashell nearby, we can actually, it'll actually start like making sounds and stuff. So now we actually want to head up here to Dompe's Shack because it's the closest point towards the dungeon. And we can start making our way over there, collecting a few more things and then moving along with the main mission. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Using our Pegasus boots. What you want? Get out of my face. What you want? Yeah, throw that spear, punk. As you can see, it is ringing already, so there is a seashell around here, and I believe, is it right over here? There it is, it's right here, baby. So, th the sensor actually comes in clutch, like, so much. Like, we'll just be walking around, and it'll start ringing, letting us know what's around and all that. But, this is actually the way we want to start heading towards to get to the next dungeon. We actually, do we want to climb up here? Which one are we climbing up? Are we even climbing up any of these? I don't think we are. I think we're just making a way around here. Is this the way I want to go? Yes, this is the way I want to go. You want to start making your way towards the waterfalls. Dude, he can hunk that thing miles, man. And we can actually hop down here and start whooping on all these enemies. Actually, this one. Oh, baby. A piece of power with all these enemies and the Pegasus boots. Get out of my face. Let's go. Get out of here. Oh, he missed them. Get out of my face. <laughs> Look at this. Just running through all these enemies with this. That's awesome. That is awesome. So now we make our way over here, you can see the sensor goes off again. And as you can see, we have this like little like thing that fits like, it looks like it fits a bomb. It's a little hole. So let's bring out our bombs, pick it up, and hug this bad boy in there. And once it explodes, bang, we get another shell. Let's go. Let's go, baby. This sensor comes in clutch. I swear. I swear it does. But now we can actually make our way to this little pedestal right here and actually obtain another fast travel point, which is just great. Get out of here. We can just whoop on these enemies real quick. And here's where we place the key. So we're actually going to be opening up the dungeon right here. But we cannot actually just walk straight onto it like a normal dungeon. We have to make our way around, like the owl said, and hop off the top layer in order to make our way on, like, into the entrance of the dungeon. Dude, look how cool that looks. This is, like, one of the cooler looking dungeons. Like, it's behind a waterfall with, like, a fish cave looking thing. I don't know. I just, like, you guys know how I'm a sucker for, like, water and stuff. But that's just... Awesome, let's go. Let's pull back out our shovel right here. Actually, equipped it with the Y and start making our way around. What you want? What you want? I forget what those things are called, but we're gonna Pegasus boot these things. Get out of my face. <laughs> Dude, the Pegasus boot stab is so much work, I swear. Right, let's keep moving along here. Huck this rock at this fool right here. What you want? Get out of my face. Get out of my face, punk. We can actually start climbing up these ladders in order to make our way to the dungeon. This is the Tao Tao Mountain Range. The Mountain Range, baby! We should be like riding a horse up here and stuff on the mountain range, but we can actually make our way into this little, like, I guess, like, cave. It's not even a dungeon. And as you can tell, there's a piece of heart just chilling there. We gotta get this thing. We're actually gonna walk over here, start swinging our sword. Oh! Oh, we we gotta watch out. That, that thing shoots fire. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do? Hmm. If I push that, it's not gonna work. Okay. Time. Time is out. Time is out. Alright. Let me figure this out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually gonna want to come over here, I believe. Actually, use Rock's Feather to get it hopping. Oh, no! We fell down that thing! How do we fall down that thing? Get out of here, Bat. Bat scared me. What do I want to do? Actually, let's go here. Let's push this here. Get out of here! Leave me alone! Can I swing and break that? No, I cannot break that yet. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Get out of here! Leave me alone! <laughs> I gotta be able to get this somehow. We gotta get this. Oh, I got it. I got it. We, we need to hop here. Hop here. Break that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, since we broke that, we can actually make a run here. Hop here. Hop here. Yes, let's go. Okay, now that we did that, what? Okay, now we can push this. There we go. Now we're figuring everything out. 
whack that thing, run over here and grab ourselves this piece of heart. And that one was uh, stumping me a little bit, but it's alright, it's alright, we got it in the long run. No! Why don't we fall down? Actually, that, that was actually kind of quicker <laughs> for us. But it's cool, it's cool. We actually start whooping on these all these enemies right here. Head up these stairs right here and start moving along. Oh, there's another piece of heart over there. I wonder how we get that. I wonder how we get that. We can actually... I oh, know, we don't need to equip the Pegasus boots. I'm going to break all this open. And I don't think we can get that yet. I don't think we can get that chest yet. I don't think we can. But it's all good. We're chilling. We can actually get this one right here. This one's the cool one. <laughs> And this one has a nice 50 rupees for us, which we're actually going to start needing a lot of rupees. Like, probably double the amount in order to buy more items for our thing. Now, which way do I want to go? Stab this. There we go. This is the way we want to go. We actually want to head down to this next door right here. Actually start moving along here. So we can start making our way over here, down to this little water area, and up inside here. Dun -dun 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 <laughs> Get out of my face! Get out of my face! Look at this. I love these little sections right here. Like, it's just little water caverns. I don't know. They're just very, like, eye appealing. And we get this chest. What the heck is that? You gonna jit me with my chest? Get out of my face! And we get ourselves a nice guardian acorn, which really does nothing for us. We are, we are a tank now. We have a lot of hearts, so our defense doesn't really matter too much. But now that we make our way over here, we can actually talk to our boy right here. I forget his name. His name's Papal. Yep! Yeah, Papal got lost. Just he said. Now I'm now I am so famished, I can't move. Can you give me some vittles? <laughs> what the heck's a vittle? But we give him our pineapple that we got from the trade quest. This pineapple is so delicious, I'm going to eat it right now. Bon appetit. <laughs> Looking at me eat it. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> ah, this wasn't meant to be a reward. Here, take this. It's a hippocus. Bang, we get ourselves our next item for our trade mission, which is this flower. And now we keep moving along with this trade mission. <laughs> We've been trading so much stuff. What do we start with again? I totally forget. Delicious, yum. I'm filled with the energy now. Oh, I remember what we started off with. We started off with the, uh, what's it called? The, um, what was it? It was the Yoshi doll from the claw machine. But well, boom, we can do that and actually keep moving along this way. Along this waterfall right here. And actually make our way right here. And we can actually hop straight down from here now. And bang, make our way in front of the dungeon. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new, you're subscribe to the channel. As the next episode, we're going to be taking on our fourth dungeon, I believe. Is it our fourth dungeon? Let me check this. Yes, our fourth dungeon and equipping our fourth instrument. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.